Um, Do you have any i? Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what that's what Space Cake is. It's a it's an IPA. So, Space Cake IPA, and I'll I'll give you the the other great thing about these their their um, cover artwork is is just beautifully done. So there is cake with lasers coming out of it. That's that's our superhero fighting against, and there's the clown shoes, fighting against all of that space cake. I don't know what that's up. It's not going to taste like cake. It's an IPA. You missed out on the pecan pie porter. That was, oh, now that was a beer. Lick, I'm not going to lick the, it, there's coronavirus. I'm not going to lick the can. The contents of the can guaranteed say the can, well, okay, the can hasn't been handled it. Lick the cl- all right, fine. I'm licking the clown shoes. It's been at least three days. There are the clown shoes right there. <laughs> Why have you done this? All right, first impressions. Hmm. What? No, no, no. What? You die. <laughs> You're angry that I did that, huh? You you push me and things happen, okay? Um It sm- it's weird. It, it smells um malty. It doesn't smell like an IPA at all. I mean, it's got some some fruity notes in there, but don't lick the shit. And then it is. Then it is an IPA. It doesn't smell like an IPA, but it tastes like an IPA. This one's um, it's not as dry as some IPAs. Uh, this one's a little, a little damper, a little moister, moister than an oyster, and um, it's not too hoppy. It's not too aggressively. A lot of IPAs are like just. The people want their hops, and they they just like cram them in there, like they kind of go nuts about the whole thing, and um, it's sometimes it's a little too much. No, it is not dank, thankfully. Um, I'm pleased to say that it's not. It's this is weird though. It's got it's got um that yeasty malty quality that I was talking about is giving way to notes of. Are there chocolate hops in this? Is that why it's called space cake? Double India Pale Ale. Space... I, n- I need qualifiers. What have they done? There's got to be chocolate hops in this. I'm looking it up. I'm going to look up their... Space... Cake. Double... IPA. All right, let's see. Let's see what clown shoes themselves have to say about their space cake. And th- and thank you guys. Instead of saying please enter your date of birth and then having you actually punch in the whole number, their website just asks, "Are you 21 years of age?" It's every bit as reliable as asking them my date of birth because a 5-year-old can do the addition to figure out how many years they need to to go backwards. You know what I mean? Uh, so thank you for not age gating the website just just being fucking not stupid uh mosaic and citra hops all right well there's no chocolate hops in there uh being pursued by a giant assortment of laser equipped cupcake spaceships is many things but it is certainly no time to panic miracle mike and his galactic canine bionic have been through far worse and they always seem to find a way past the relentless pursuit of the space cake fleet this double IPA features a robust hop aromas that carry through the strong, juicy flavors of tropical citrus. A sweet and strong malt backbone pairs with a subtle booziness to make Space Cake an approachable DIPA fit for the extraterrestrial odyssey. It, the, the maltiness is giving it almost a, a kind of chocolate finish. That's, I guess, probably why they called it Space Cake. And that's why I said when I smelled it, it didn't smell like an IPA because it had too much of a malty smell to it. 
I might actually be starting to get like a refined palate, guys. I might, I might kind of know what I'm talking about here. I didn't think with an IPA that they could have a chocolatey flavor, but th- there is. There is, there's a, a hint of chocolate on the back end of that. It's mostly fruity. I think the idea with space cake is that it's like a chocolate Bavarian cake. And that's what I'm getting, except it's beer, and I like it. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I like to try new things. I like to uh, like to check out new beers, and I, I have to say the first those crazy sons of bitches actually did it. It's true. It's true. Um, they a hundred percent did. That's my my midstream beer review. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.